I managed to figure out how to build an AI agent that builds more AI agents that can actually call people on demand, speak like humans, and schedule appointments. And I did it all using Make.com's new AI system. No code, no technical setup. It's pretty simple, actually. This is like cloning a full team of sales reps automatically, or even having an army of personal assistants at your disposal like that. Let me show you exactly how this works before everyone catches on and this becomes the new normal. Let's dive in. Okay, so right now we're in Telegram, and this is actually the only thing you need to communicate with the main AI agent. Check it out. Hey, could you call James and ask him if he has time for a lunch meetup and then help him um, schedule that into my calendar, please? First of all, the AI agent will transcribe it and then send it to the make.com agent. It thinks, okay, to call James, I need to access his phone number, which it searches for. Next, it uses this tool to write the system prompt for the new agent. And this is what I mean by AI making AI. And already we're getting a phone call. Hi, who's this? Hi, James. This is Liam's AI assistant. I'm reaching out to check your availability for a lunch meetup. What time works best for you? Well, that's cool. I didn't know Liam had that. Um, for me, um, 2.30 would work best today. Would that work? All right. I'll just quickly check our calendar. One sec. I'm finalizing the appointment. Great. The lunch meetup is scheduled for 2.30 p.m. today. Thank you for your time, James. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. Excellent. Have a great day. Thank you. There we go. That is pretty damn cool. Not going to lie. And as you can see right now, the agent is already using another tool to summarize what happened on the call. Liam's AI assistant successfully called in a lunch meetup with James Titchens for 2 p.m. today. James was quite surprised to hear from my AI assistant, but appreciated the ease of scheduling an appointment like this. I think that sums it up pretty well. Now, let me teach you how to build one of these for yourself. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Liam. I help businesses all over the world to implement advanced AI voice solutions into their companies. So if you haven't done this yet, or you're curious on how you can use AI to improve your business, just use the first link down below to schedule a free AI consultation call with me. I look forward to hearing from you, and now let's dive into the build. Okay, let me give you a rundown of how this works. So you're going to need a few things. First of all, you're going to need make.com. Second, you're going to need an OpenAI GPT Plus plan uh, so that you can actually build assistance, and you're going to need an account on Vapi. Now, let me walk you through these things step by step. So first of all, we have the Make AI agent. Now, this consists, I'll actually go into the folder, of these workflows, and I'll walk you through them step by step. But first of all, let me show you the make.com agent. So basically, what happens is we've hooked this up to a Telegram bot, because that's just the easiest thing to integrate with. And this right here watches for updates in that Telegram channel, and then it sends the um, message to one of these different paths. Now, depending on if this is text, it'll just send it through here. Um, but if it is voice, then it'll see that this message is voice. Send that, first of all, to this module, which downloads the file, and then puts that into OpenAI Whisper, um, which allows you to transcribe things. That then sets the same variable, which then gets accepted down here, and then sent to our AI agent. So that's just a quick way of showing you how I get a voice message to work with this. Okay, so what does this agent have access to? Well, if we go into the AI agents, Liam's assistant, there are a few parts to this. First of all, you have to create a system prompt. And in this case, I've told it that it's my assistant. It'll get a message from me asking me to complete a task. And first of all, it should greet me, listen to my intent. Then it should use this thing down here, which is the, the sheet of, um, where did I put that? There we go, um, of all the phone numbers to search for James's phone number. Next, what it should do is it should use the create agent tool, which is a workflow I'm about to show you, to create an agent. Next, it should wait for incoming end of call reports to update me on what happened in the call. And then I just put some notes in here. Okay, so that's basically all there is to it. Now, next we have the scenarios, the tools that it can actually use. First of all, we have the, we have the um, create voice AI. Okay, so once it's looked through here, it knows uh, what the phone number is, and then it can use this tool. Now, in order to actually give it access to that tool, you would go down here, you would find the scenario that you want. In this case, a new one could be this one. And to add a new scenario, you just give it a description. 
and you say something like use this to book an appointment for example just to give it an idea of when it should use the tool and then you can add this tool to the agent so that's basically how you add new tools now i've added these two tools so there's three rules you should always follow first of all you need to make sure if you click down here on the scenario inputs and outputs that they are defined this allows the AI agent to send information into the scenario so here you first of all define for example the prompt description give it a little description of what the AI should put in here and then always I always click on required so it always sends this through second the phone number which is had had found in here and we also need the the name of uh, the person we're trying to call which is for example James now once you click on save you also should make sure that this is scheduled to on demand and then in here for example what we've done is we've um, you can now use those things that we've just created as variables so for example I could search for the phone number or I could search for the name and I can now use those as variables in my modules so that's basically the little bits of information that the AI decides to send across when using this workflow. This right here is an AI assistant that I made. And you make those in the OpenAI. You basically go to OpenAI for developers. You log in with your ChatGPT Plus credentials. You click on Dashboard, on Assistance, and then create a new assistant. In this case, I've given it the prompt that I've also given my personal AI prompt maker. There is actually a video coming out next week, uh, pretty soon, uh, for making the best voice AI prompts, which includes access to my personal AI to help me write these. So stay tuned for that. And um, once we've created this assistant with the system prompt of how it should write actual prompts, I won't go into that in too detail because once again, there is a video coming out on that. We hook it up in make.com by going into OpenAI and then message an assistant. And then next, what we do is we have to format the phone number, which is also a variable that got sent in. That then gets sent to the tools because uh, you actually have to make sure that you escape characters like air quotes from the prompt that got created. Because then when you go into the HTTP module, and I'm going to blur these things out because they're my API keys, um, this sends a request to VAPI in this case. And um, we've given it, we've, we're overriding variables here. And I'm going to show you what I mean just by switching to my VAPI account. Okay, so here we are in the VAPI account. Now, I'm not going to cover everything on how you create a voice AI. You can watch some other videos of mine on that. But basically what we've done here is we've not almost got nothing inside the prompt except for the current time. The only thing we have in here is a variable called prompt. Now, this allows us to when we're making the call to basically inject the entire system prompt externally into the agent so it can change from time to time whether i'm calling james or my mum, or i want to call someone and ask uh, if they have for example call a restaurant and ask if they have uh, a seat available and um, this always changes based on what this ai has written now next we've got um, the customer's phone number which we formatted here and it was found through the google sheet and then and that's basically all you need to make the call now you have to of course here you have to add your assistant id which you can find up here and down here you have to add your phone number id which you can find when you go onto the phone numbers and then uh, you would click up here and you also need to add your api key which you can find under api keys you copy this key and you add that up here right after bearer okay so once that's done another thing that you have to keep in mind is that you have to have a scenario output so that we can let the ai agent that we used in the first place we can let it know that the call has been successfully placed and here you also have to define the scenario outputs um, which in this case could be dynamic again but i've just set it to a fixed text saying the call's been placed okay so what have we done until now? So first of all, we've gotten an AI agent to understand our voice message. Next, we've gotten it to understand that it needs to search for the right number. Then it's created a system prompt and sent that through to our VAPI agent, which then literally has an entire prompt based on what we've just defined. Now, 
The next thing I want to share with you is how we get this thing to actually use the tools in book. So in this case, I've given it the fixed tools of book calendar and check calendar. Now, and this is quite interesting. You can also use something like an MP, M, MCP server to uh, get it to also create these tools. But honestly, um, I am not very comfortable doing this yet. I'd rather have some control over the actions it can take. So I've predefined the only tools you can use are to do with my calendar. So no matter what I what prompt gets written here, the agent will at the end of the day only have access to managing my calendar, which is a good way to to um, limit its functionality and not give it access to my entire life. Okay, once that is done, next what happens is, uh, correct, it's just placed the phone call, it sends a little message back to me saying, I've placed the phone call, I'll let you know when I have more details. Now, how does this actually book a, uh, an appointment? This is the flow behind that. I've shown this many times in my videos, so I won't spend too much time on it. But basically, the VAPI agent now sends um, a request here and depending on if it used first of all we format the time into the correct timestamps we say i'm available from 8 till uh, 8 you have to add your google calendar email here and then we format the time correctly now depending on if the tool call is check calendar or book calendar um, it'll go down these two paths so for checking the calendar it checks in my google calendar for availability Next, what it does is it sends it into here. And basically, this is just a fancy way of formatting things so that over here, when I filter, if the whole day is free, then um, this text basically won't exist. We subtract these things from an one another. So if the value is zero, then uh, we can send a message back saying, yes, that time is available. Let's schedule it. If it isn't available, the problem is that this Google Calendar module only returns the busy slots. However, I would rather suggest when somebody's called, I would rather suggest to them uh, what slots are available so they can just pick one, which is what this little prompt is for saying, um, if the time isn't available, please output uh, three other available slots from the information you got from here. That formats everything into JSON and then sends it back through a tool call, uh, letting the agent know that you know they can pick one of the three available times. Okay, so once that is done, um, it'll go down here again to book into the calendar uh, using also variables that it extracts from the call, such as my name and the reason for the call. And then um, basically that's, that's the end of the call. Now next, what happens is an end of call report is generated. So as soon as I hang up, it takes a couple of seconds, and then VAPI will summarize the call. Now it will send that to this webhook over here. And in order to hook that up, all you have to do is go into advanced under VAPI and click on messaging. Make sure under server messages, you have end of call report selected. And then up here, you add your server URL, which is the this code that you can copy here. Now, next here, we set up a little filter that only the end of call report can get through uh, because it also sends a bunch of other stuff. And then we send that back into our AI agent. Now the AI agent, we've told it, please let Liam know the outcome of this call. And then we send the summary that VAPI has sent back to this server. And um, that AI agent understands, okay, we've got to let him know what tool can I use to complete this task? Okay, let's think. If we go back to here, it can either create a voice AI or it can send a message. So it chose to send a message to me, which is the last one, sending a message back to that same Telegram channel with the message once again, this is the scenario input, uh, the message you want to send to Liam. So it's just received the summary. It thinks, what message do I want to send to Liam? It sends that over here in that variable back into the Telegram channel, letting me know uh, the outcome of the call. All right, so I hope I was able to show you a cool concept on how we can use AI to create more AI. If you got value from this video and you want to explore how we can use AI in your business, you can use the first link down below to schedule a free AI consultation call with me. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next one.